time position velocity trip to corner store so in this graph we are trying to develop from the previous video half of the graph is kind of similar to what you saw in the previous video right so we'll develop on the concepts which we have already learned and learn few new things now okay now here we have a distance versus time graph and I have written distance versus time for Mike just to give you a story of Mike right so first let's make a story out of this so in this graph what you see here is along the x-axis the independent variable t is given in minutes time each division is four units so we have four eight twelve things like that right on the vertical side we have distance in meters that is the dependent variable so as you can see in first four minutes Mike covers a distance of 200 meters and in next eight minutes he covers another 200 meters so in first 12 minutes he covers a distance of 400 meters and then finally in 24 minutes he reaches a point and just stops there right let me label these points as A, B, C, D, and D. So at D, Mike stops for a while, that is for four minutes, right? And then returns back to zero. That means to the starting point, right? So an interesting thing here is that in earlier graphs, the distance was always increasing. Here, we see that the distance decreases. Decreases means kind of going from home and then coming back to the starting point. That is coming back to home, right? So let's change the story a bit. Let's now say, well, Mike is going to a corner store to buy, let's say, milk, right? And then he returns after buying milk, right? So that becomes a story now. So initially, Mike goes faster, then slows down, gets probably tired. And in stores, he just spends four minutes to purchase and buy milk and then come back steadily at a much faster rate back home. Now let's answer these questions on the left side. So we'll consider time taken for different activities. So how much time did Mike take to reach the store? So we'll assume D to be the point at the store because that's the point where he stops and then returns, right? So, time taken to reach D will be from 0 to 24. So, it is 24 minutes, right? So, time taken to reach the store is 24 minutes. How long does he stay at the store? So, this, there is no movement. A horizontal line, as you learn, indicates zero speed, no movement, right? So this is the time he's shopping in the corner store. So the time he stays is 4 minutes from 24 to 28. So 28 minus 24 is 4 minutes. So we get 4 minutes. So for 4 minutes, Mike stays in the store. Return. He returns. This is the return. When the distance is decreasing, we say return, right? So, so what is the speed at which he returns? Speed is change in distance over change in time. Now you'll notice one thing, that the change in distance here, so what are the coordinates of E? Let's write down the coordinates of E first. Time is 28, right? And distance is 600. What are the coordinates of point, let's call this point F, when it reaches home? It is 0, this coordinates are 0, oh sorry, the coordinates of time is 36, right? So the coordinates are for F are 36 and distance is 0. So that is the coordinate for point F. Now change in distances, final distance is 0, right? So it is 0 minus 600 divided by time of 36 minus 28. So that is the change in time, right? So change in time is... You can see from here also, from E, which is here to here, is 4 and 4, 8 minutes, right? 36 minus 28, and the distance is minus 600, right? So, so we can say that the speed here is minus 600 
divided by 36 minus 28 which is 4 and 4 8 right 8 so 600 minus minus 600 divided by 8 is the speed by which my returns home right so if you calculate this using a calculator you can find the speed as 8 goes 7 times 8 times 7 is 56 and then we have 40 it goes 5 so it is 75 but with the negative sign meters per minute right so that is negative speed so we call this as velocity speed normally when we are talking about does not have a negative or positive thing speed is always considered positive okay but velocity is a term given which is a vector quantity and it has a direction right so when we say going away from home is positive direction coming towards the home is negative direction and we term this as velocity of minus 75 meters per minute okay so remember one thing velocity is positive when you are going away or when the distance is increasing and negative when you are coming towards right or decreasing distance right away means increasing distance in this case right so we are going away so so the distance is increasing and when we are coming towards distance is decreasing and we say velocity is negative since we are approaching it right and when we go away from it we say it is positive where the sp speed is positive always and the velocity will be positive saying that the distance is increasing okay now we'll consider one more very important aspect that is all along how much distance did my cover going to the corner store and coming back what is the distance traveled by my in 36 minutes total distance covered is going 600 away and coming back 600 right so the total distance is 1200 meters right because Mike went to the store which is 600 meters away and then came back 600 meters so the distance is 600 plus 600 so that is the total distance covered by Mike and let me introduce you a new term displacement displacement is actually net distance net distance is final position minus initial so when he started the distance was how much zero when he finished distance was zero so here net displacement is zero you started from home reached back home so how far were you from home that is the displacement so you were at home right you started from home reached back at home so the distance between the two positions is zero we say displacement displacement is change in distance so there is no change in distance if you consider point a and f right so net distance is the displacement and in our case it is zero okay if you see from a to d displacement and distance may be same correct because you're going going in the same direction once you return distance is going to increase distance travel but the displacement is going to be different right in this case as we see displacement becomes zero right so that is a new thing which you've learned now from distance versus time graph now what i want you to calculate is average speed of mike for the round trip can you calculate the average speed for the whole trip so average speed will be total distance traveled divided by time right so total distance will be 1200 600 going 600 coming back which is 1200 meters divided by total time taken which is 36 so when you divide 1200 by 36 you get average speed for the round trip right so that is also we can calculate 
So with this example, you understand that from a graph we can calculate average speed, we can calculate velocity, we can find distance and also displacement, right? In addition to reading distance and time and calculating slope and velocity. Thank you. Let's move on to more examples.